right, we are here with episode three of our team podcast with Pastor. And today, I want to share a verse here with you out of the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is an incredible book to read as a young person. And I would challenge you to take and try to read through the book of Proverbs. And I think that if you can do that, you'll find that it is insightful. The Word of God as a whole is helpful to you and I as Christians and any stage of life. But I do believe that the Proverbs of Solomon, the book of Proverbs, is among probably one of the most insightful books of the Bible for you to read as a young person. It deals with so many of the practical issues of life. It is a letter that was written from a father to a son. God used it in that setting to now be a letter that was written from God our Heavenly Father to us as his children to teach us how to be good children how to be wise in what we do in this world. The verse I want to share with you this morning, excuse me, this evening, is Proverbs chapter 1 and verse number 10. (coughs) Excuse me. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. It's a short verse. However, the meaning is infinitely valuable to you and I in our life. What this verse is telling us is that as Christians, as young people, we need to be able to establish a backbone enough to say no. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. As Christians, there are certain activities that we obviously should not participate in. As young people, we need to be able to identify what does please God and what does not please God. If it is something that does not please God, then we need to have the ability to say no. Back in the 1980s, the White House and the president and the president's wife in particular, Mrs. Reagan, started a campaign in our public school system called Say No to Drugs. It was a program designed to try to establish in the minds of our youth that drugs was not a good thing, and they needed to learn to say no to drugs. Even so, I would echo echo that same message to our Christian young people, that there are so many activities that take place in this world that we need to also have enough guts to say no. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. <clears throat> what are the temptations that Satan brings into your world and my world each and every day? We need to be able to identify those temptations and we need to have enough Christian fortitude to say no. The Bible tells us in the book of James that if we resist the devil, he will flee. When we resist the devil, it says just a couple verses later, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to thee. So we have here a opportunity in the book of James, we're told about, to resist the devil. Not only resisting him, but resisting from the devil to God. Running from the devil, running to God. Every time you are faced with a situation in which you have an opportunity to do something that would not please God, and you say no. I know this is very simple. But when you say no, You are resisting the devil. You say, well, pastor, a lot of times I say no to situations only to be tempted again and say yes the second time that the temptation is offered. That's why it's so important that when we resist the devil that we run to God. When you resist the devil, when sinners entice thee and thou consent not and you say no, then you ought to go to the Lord in prayer and say, God, help me to keep off this temptation. Help me to avoid this in the future. Because if the Satan used it to tempt you once, I can promise you this young person, he will use it to tempt you again. So not only do we need to resist the devil, but we need to run to God in the same process. We need to say no to the devil and turn to God and say, God, help me to stay away from this temptation. Help me to say no to the sinners that come to entice me, that come to try to draw me in where I should not be. Help me say no. 
Listen, dear young person, you will do so much better in your Christian life if you'll learn to tell the devil no. You say, well, sinners come to entice me and I'm afraid I'm going to hurt their feelings. Better their feelings be hurt than you find yourself displeasing and hurting the feelings of an almighty God. Who would you rather please? Your God or those who want you to do wrong? Your God who offers his provision each and every day or sinners who come to entice you out of his way? The God who gives you air to breathe, the God who gives you food to eat, the God who takes care of your every need or sinners who simply walk into your world for a day and try to get you to go do something that you should not do. You say, well, uh, you ought to choose God. You ought to choose God. I understand that our strongest temptations do not often come from strangers, but they come from people we know. There may be those who even are Christians who the devil will use as instruments to try to pull you out of the way of God. Be on your guard, young person. Be ready to say no. When there's problems, when there is temptations to do what's wrong, say no. It's a very simple truth today. I understand that. But I hope that you'll take this thought to heart. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will impress those two words on your heart. Say no. Solomon was a very wise man. And he passed some very wise wisdom down to his son. Unfortunately, his son did not follow it. And when he was enticed of his friends to do what he should not do, he wound up dividing an entire kingdom. When you do not say no, rest assured, destruction will take place. You say, well, I gave in to temptation once and nothing happened, and twice and nothing happened. But the day is coming when you give in to temptation and you'll lose more than you bargained for. There's an old saying, and I believe that's true, that sin takes you farther than you want to go, it keeps you longer than you want to stay, and costs more than you can afford. Think about that and say no. That's it for our episode today. We'll be back, and this is going to be our regular time slot now, every Tuesday night, uh, right about this time. There'll be a broadcast coming out uh, just for our teenagers. Of course, anybody's welcome to listen, but it's specifically for our teenagers, and we'll be out with episode four next week. Thank you.